Hey everybody, it's Blue Tide and welcome back to Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. It's now time to go into another dungeon. And there's actually something interesting here that we can do. Because if we had the right stuff earlier in the game, we can actually get here early. And then, if we dash down and then change direction into the block here, I believe. I'm sure I can do this. Or maybe I have to change direction at the last second. Possibly. Or am I cl too close? I don't know what's, what's happening here. I should just be able to do it. It seems a little bit trickier than it should be. But I think you can bounce yourself across if you do things the right way. But the way you're supposed to get across is to use the hook shot. Anyway, let's head down the stairs now. Into the main part of the dungeon. I believe I have to take out all these enemies in here. We've also got whiz robes that will start throwing magic at us that we need to take care of. They can only be hit when they're visible, so it makes things a little bit more interesting. Also, Beemos there is going to ruin me if I'm not careful, so I need to be careful. Very nice. Okay. Into the main area. Let me check this door over here very quickly. I'm not sure exactly where I need to go, but I feel like this is a good way to go, possibly. Let me go across, please. Go, 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 go. Okay, that's where the big chest is. So we know where the dungeon item is. Uh, there's also the eyes on the side of the room that when they when you walk past, they see you and uh, shoot an energy beam at you. So you need to be careful of that. Now, what is this? Is this just... Okay, that's just a way back from somewhere else, I guess. Uh, but let's go into this area. Carefully. Hello, magic. I don't know where I should go to start off. Let's go up here. There's a lot of places to go to. I can't remember where, where's the best place to start, so... Just take you out. Now, I believe... I don't know. Let me, let me see if I can... No, those are just blocked off, okay. Just cracks in them for... purposes. Ah, uh, that's a locked door, so we can't go that way. What was that spike trap just decided to stop there? Let's use this cane to allow us to just walk across here without taking damage. Okay, we didn't need to go up here because there's nothing we can do up here. I should have just taken the path that I normally take and just trust that my memory knows what I'm doing. I used a fair bit of magic doing that. There's also down here that I could also check. No, that's locked off. Okay. Over this way? No, that's locked off as well. Everything's blocked off. Everything. Stop. Stop. Nope. Everything is trying to kill me. Which you'd expect it to. Ow. Just gonna take the hit. Because we can go over this way is the way I normally go. But for some reason I decided not to. Just to try and be more efficient. And by doing so, I was less efficient. Ah, uh, it's fine. Also, I believe... I feel like... You can dash into something here, but I don't... I guess not. Ah, uh, we need some keys. We also need a dungeon map to help us know where we're going. That's one key. That's, uh, that. I'm running out of magic. Need to be careful with my magic consumption here. Ow. Very nice. It's a shame I can't grab that, though. Uh, let's head up. No, I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably shouldn't have done that yet. I should have waited a little bit longer before doing that. Let me go down this way. Instead, can't do that. Need to hit a switch somewhere. Um, magic? Nope. Need more magic at some point. So I can actually do th some things. Uh, this way goes a long way. I don't think I wanted to do that just yet, though. I shouldn't be doing this for a long while yet, I don't think. Uh, this way takes us to a door that we need the big key for. So we can't do anything else here right now. I'm just going all of the wrong ways right now. Also, anti-fairies, when you they hit you, train magic. I'm pretty sure I said that already, but I'm just making sure. So we, we when we need to be careful with our magic consumption, they will also get in the way. Uh, let's see, where does this take me? Over here, this is actually where I need to be, I think. 
I thought the other way, the path that I didn't take would take me here, but apparently I just have a really bad, uh, I don't know what the word is to explain. It's 3D space. My spatial awareness is just completely out of sync with everything right now. The wizard robe's trying to get me right now. It's really trying. Oh dear. I don't know if there's anything in this skull or not. Probably not. Checking it anyway though, apparently. Uh, this takes us back to where we were before. I don't remember. I don't think there's anything down there that's going to help me. So I should probably head up back up this way. I hit the switch now, so that's good. And there's also that other pathway I could take. Which I believe takes me to that chest up there. I really should have done that straight away. So many things. Unless that's connected to the door with the... Which needs the big key. Um, I don't know. Let's go down this way. And pick up this dungeon map. I don't want to use my magic... I don't, I don't want to use my key there, but... Yeah, that's a waste of a key. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Means I'm forced to try and get everything in the dungeon, which is what I'm aiming to do. Uh, let's head back up to that room over there so we can check if I can get to that treasure chest. I can also go to the left here to try and do that. Just need to push that block out of the way and we can go through here. Okay, this looks like it takes us to the treasure chest. Since there's a block here in the way so we can't get through there. Small key, cool. That's good, considering we just wasted one. Effectively. Okay, let's go this way now. And I don't know that this is necessary, but I'm gonna take everything out anyway. These slugs also drop bombs uh, when you're close to them. Okay, that just opens that door there, so that was nothing important. Ah, uh, we can actually get this now that the switch is hit though. So we can get another small key. Now, I can go through this way, I guess. Ow. Why did that not go the other- Ah, oh, it's fine. Sometimes things just do their own thing. Now, I'm pretty sure I can push this from some angle. Also, these skulls just float around. So, we need to be careful of that. Uh, I might not press that button. Might get out my magic power powder to try and get this anti-fairy, if possible. Okay, good. Right of you. That drops a small key. I'm pretty sure I can push this block in some direction. Unless I'm wrong. I could just be- I'm apparently wrong. I thought you could. Anyway. Let's go down this way. Trying to avoid everything. Might also be good to use the hookshot to get around here. Okay, that was close. Ah, that wasn't as close. Well, there's a chest there, so we can't get that just yet. We need to keep that in mind, though. We have a direction to head into. Nice. Okay. Oh, it's one of these rooms. I should have sta stayed in the doorway. Hang on. I can still stay in the doorway. Just gonna go out and in again. And now I should be safe, in theory. Just so safe right now. Or I could just ignore everything. Please. I don't know how that worked out for me. With the enemy taking out the other enemy. Uh, but anyway. Let's go up here. I think this is on the path to that treasure chest that we don't have yet. Uh, now, I think the thing I want to do first is actually go over this way. Into this room. Link, it is I, Sahasrala, the Elder. You must set fire to four torches to open the way forward. Makes sense to me. Wasn't expecting to see Wizrobe there, though. Uh, now, I don't know if I can push these blocks and then... Go through the doorways. I don't... yeah. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Just see what happens. So we need to light all four torches. 
in quick succession. And I might actually just be able to use the lamp here. Okay, they did stay open, that's good. There we go, everything is shaking. Except it doesn't show that on the video. For some reason. Okay, and by doing that, this room up here just opens up completely. Allowing us to fall down this hole. Which takes us to the treasure chest. There's the big key, so now we can go open the big... ...chest. Uh, we can also go that way, which takes us... ...to the next... ...uh, door that was locked by that. But again, I want to go get the... ...thing. The dungeon item. Can I push this out of the way? No. That'd be nice if I could do that, but I can't do that. Also, I think that's the probably the wrong way to go. Let me let me go the, this, the, the let's go this way. If I could go up that way and jump down, that'd be nice. But no, I have to go this way to get down again and get back up to that first area. Ow! I'm just gonna let that go past. So many things on screen right now. Hello. Ow. Okay, now we can do this. Ow. Everything is pain. Also, there's a door up there that that leads back to the other door. Okay. Just there. Randomly. We get the cane of Samaria. It will be very helpful if you want, if you make proper use of it. What a mysterious cane. It's going to be very useful to us. With it, if we tap it, places a block for us. And whenever we tap the button again, destroys the block with projectiles to kill enemies for us. Uh, now, let me go back to that other door that we didn't go into. Just because that's probably the... I don't know, that's the way the game wants us to go, but I don't think it's the most efficient way we could go. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Is it this way? Maybe? Maybe. Yes, I think. Oh, so what's behind that other door there? Hang on. Map? I didn't go into that... Oh, right. That's, that's that room. I couldn't... I want to check the room. I want to complete every map of the... Every square of the map. For some reason. I don't usually. But today I do, apparently. Okay. Nope, don't do that. Nope, don't do that. Do this. Like that. Cool. Oh, this is also a trick chest, so I needed this, probably. Compass! Didn't need that at all. C cool. That's a lot of effort for a compass. That's very out of the way. And not at all necessary. Please, nope. That was a very bad attempt at that. That's fine. Uh, let's go through here. And through here. Which takes us over to this part of the world. Uh, which is actually good for me because it means I can get another fairy. And let's go through this door. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, over here is always a magic refill, which is good for us. And let's go down here now. I think we're getting very close to the end. We just need to do a few more things. And also because I have an extra key, we can do something in here. By going down. I usually miss this room, so... Just a couple of rupees, but... Still. Map completion, and all that. And now let's go... Did that? No, I'm pretty sure I'm just crazy. Uh, anyway, let's put a... A block onto that switch there, by using the cane, cane of Samaria. And now we can go down this way. Also, when you're, if you're holding a giant rock or block, you can't, um... You can't move while carrying it, so... Uh, looks like we've got to... gone to every room. Just a few more rooms to go before the boss. Which I'm not sure... Oh, it's this room, right. I remember now. Just need to go through there. We need to go up here. 
because we need to hit that switch there. Which we can probably just throw that up there and then hit. Now, did that? Yes, it did. It opened up this area for us. We can also blow that up. Oh, those anti fairies are on the other side of this, so that means it's going to make it very difficult to hit those. Uh, but up here, we have a secret room up there, which I don't think I've ever gone into. Where is that? There's a room above me that might have a way down here, but I don't know what it is. Uh, but anyway, let's hit that switch there. And go down. Get that anti-fairy into a real fairy. And now... Need to hit the switch again. But that should be just about everything. Just need to avoid this thing here. That didn't work the way I hoped it would. That wouldn't hope that work. That work. That, that didn't work. Oh, is this? Nope, that's just a hole. I thought it was going to take me down to another level. Because there's... there's it, usually if this pit's completely... Completely dark, it means you can't fall into it. Otherwise, you'll... It's just a regular pit. But there's that one room in this dungeon that has a pit that's completely dark and you fall into it and it takes you to a treasure chest. Anyway, here's the boss. It's got a ton of eyes on it, so just need to take those out if we can. Oh my goodness. Which I think is actually e easier or better with the... Ooh, with the bow. Also, he strikes lightning when he comes out, when the big eye comes out of the goo. So we need to be careful of that. We just need to take out the eyes that are brighter out of the goo. Some of the eyes don't come out of the goo. Okay, dodge lightning. Maybe there's this probably a better way to fight this boss than what I'm doing right now. Okay. One more. There we go. And now for the real thing. Which I'm pretty sure we can just use arrows to take out easily. It's just that, that simple. There we go. Give me my heart container. Just like that. And the next crystal. Link, because of you, I can escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. Ganon captured us because he couldn't break the seal of the wise men with his power alone. And then, using the wizard Ag... Agonin... Agonin... Agon nah. Is it Agonin? Nim? I don't, I don't know. As his pawn, he drew us to the dark world. After crack cracking the seal with our powers, he sealed us inside of these crystals. He then gave us to his loyal monsters. But Ganon didn't plan on your getting this far. Now, Princess Zelda's waiting for you inside of the of Turtle Rock. Please hurry. Do you understand? Yes, I do. May the way of the hero lead you to the Triforce. We've got all the maidens. All that's left is to go f get Zelda. Now, I believe... I should probably just head back to the Light World to start off. We only have two more pieces of heart to go find, I believe. So, let's probably go look at that as we go to uh, the next dungeon. But also, surely, surely, surely now this is going to have the thing available to me. Probably. Hopefully. I really hope. I'm really hoping right now. I've, I've checked so many times by this point. If it's not there, then I think I've done something wrong. Which I didn't think I could do something wrong. Okay. There it is. There's a big bomb in here that we can buy for an amount of rupees. Thank you very much. You can drop this bomb off anywhere. Press the A button. Please don't forget it. So we can't dash while we have this bomb. And we need to take this over to the pyramid. I think we can jump off of cliffs with it at least. Which is good. No we can't. 
I've got it backwards. We can't jump off cliffs with it. It also has numbers on the screen that count down when it's about to blow up as well, so... Anyway, let's buy a new one. Let's try this again. Can't jump off cliffs. I think... Probably need to avoid monsters as much as possible. Uh, but anyway, the only way to the pyramid is actually to go around this way, so... We have a little bit of a ways to walk. The bomb has plenty of time on it as well, but it's always tick ticking down, I'm pretty sure. And it, whenever you drop it off, it just starts counting down from its final phase. Okay. Nearly there. Just need to go up here, because there's a crack in this wall. And then let the go. Three, two, three, two, one. And now we can get in here. Mysterious Pond, why don't you throw something in? Let's throw an item. Let's throw in the bow, I believe. As long as I know what I'm doing. Did I drop this? Yes, I did. Oh, you are an honest person. I like you. I will give you something important. These are the silver arrows to give Ganon his last moment. You definitely need them. I know I don't, uh, don't quite have the figure of a fairy. Ganon's cruel power has to blame is to blame. You must defeat Ganon. So we have the silver arrows now. You need to defeat Ganon with them. So, uh, but anyway, we can do one more thing. So let's throw in an item. Uh, hang on. We need to throw in something special. Because we need to throw in our sword. Hopefully I won't trip over my words again. My tongue is just... It gets in the way sometimes. Did I drop this? I like an honest person. I'll give you something better in return. Is that it? That's all the text you're going to give me? For an upgrade? Cool. Your sword is stronger. You can feel its power th throbbing in your hand. So now we have the fully upgraded Master Sword. It's gold now. Which is really cool, but now we can do tons of damage to enemies. Also, it would have been super helpful helpful to have the both of those upgrades for the boss that we just fought. But what can you do? So anyway, we need to head up to Death Mountain now. And I believe the best way to do that is probably just to warp up there and do things differently. Hello, can you stop being on top of me? Thank you. He was just running at full speed. Anyway, we can also take out pretty much everything in one hit now. Most things, not everything. So let's head on up. And I don't think we want to head into the Dark World immediately from here. I think we want to actually get around and explore a bit more of Death Mountain before we go back in. Oh, actually, no. Over here is... Nope, nothing cool. That's a good thing. Ah, uh, we can go over this way, though. I didn't show this earlier because we can't couldn't do anything. We can get across using the hookshot. And down here, I believe, is a teleporter to the Dark World, but I think I don't want to do that just yet. I think I want to actually explore a little bit more of this area to try and find some more better... just more items, basically. Uh, let me start with the leftmost tunnel, probably. There's a lot of areas here that we need to check, so... Oh, hello, enemies. There's a chest there, which I can guess what that is. Whether it is important or not. Uh, we're gonna have to take another path to get up there, though. I'm gonna just get out of my way. <laughs> just throw a stone at it. Uh, anyway, this is where we need to be, so let's go up this path. This is actually a pretty good cave to be in, so... It's got some good rewards here. Let's fall down here. Some fairies. I don't need a fairy, do I? No, I've, I'm still fully stocked. Okay. Just go straight down. I don't know if I want to fall if I want to just go out here. I probably wanted to actually go down one of those holes there. I think I want to take the right one. 
Oh, it doesn't matter. That just takes us back here. We didn't actually need to go in this cave at all, did we? Did we? I'm so confused. Did that actually do nothing for us? At least doing that, I don't think, did anything for us. And I don't think any of the other holes here are going to take me anywhere. Unless... Maybe this one? No, that's just... A whole lot of nothing, apparently. I thought there was more there. <laughs> Maybe it's one of the other caves that I haven't checked yet. Since there are so many caves. Let me just check down here. There is another cave down there. How are there so many caves? I don't even know. Oh my goodness, so many caves. So many caves. Ah, uh, this is... Nothing? Question mark? I can hookshot to that. Pot, apparently. I don't know you could hookshot to pots. I've never seen this cave, apparently. I don't know what's going on right now. Anyway, that's just a fairy fountain. With some fairies there. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what attempt this is. Okay, this is the cave that I wanted to be in. Finally. This is the one that I needed. So let's blow that up. And go through here. That's a shop. Apparently I went through the... I, ah, I've played this game before. I know what I'm doing. I know exactly which cave I need to walk into to go to where I need to go. That's the cave that I need to be in eventually. But I need to go through the... To get into that, the rest of that cave, I need to go through this cave. And that's not confusing whatsoever. All of those caves were completely unnecessary except for this one. Now I think I actually want to fold down, possibly? Yeah, that one just takes me to my... the next level. Which is where I'm supposed to be going, I believe. But I actually want to go down this way. Again, not at all confusing whatsoever. Because this is the this is the room that I couldn't get into because I need, you can only push the block one way and it's, no this is this is this is not fine anyway. Treasure chest with some bombs. Treasure chest with some arrows. Okay, we're doing good. Everything's fine. I'm not crazy. You're crazy. Let's go in here. Bunch more items for us. Just need to hit that switch over there. That's too far. Red rupee. Red rupee. Red rupee. Red rupee. Red rupee. Okay, so that was completely unnecessary, but I, I wanted to do it anyway because of trying to get completion of everything, apparently. I've, I've played a randomizer. This is just how you live after you have played a randomizer. You get everything you possibly can. Oh my goodness, why do you jump so perfectly to dodge my attacks? It's like you're designed for, for that purpose. Anyway, let's head up this way then. Okay. Also, we can't actually have gone up this way from the Tower of Hera as well. Because this connects to there. Somewhere down this way. Yeah, right here. If we have the hammer, we can get across this bridge to the Tower of Hera. Ow, 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 ow. There it is right there. Cool. Also, I don't think these stumps that we can hit do anything. They're just there because they are. I actually like that in this game. It adds something. Also, there's a piece of heart there that we need to get. So there's something we know about. There's a rock there. I think I should probably come back to that in a second. Because first, I think... Ah! Gonna get stuck on everything. I don't like those enemies. Now I believe we can jump down to this cave down here. And go in, please. Okay. Big room. That's rude. That's rude. Doesn't do a ton of damage, but it's rude. Go down all the way to this hole over here that we can fall down. And this takes us to the treasure chest we saw before, which has 50 rupees in it. All 
Right, time to go through the caves again. But I think I should also go down here and actually go through the Dark World now. Because in the Dark World, we have more caves to explore. <laughs> because they're all different. Oh, it's so fine. Although I think there's a lot less here. Since there's no bridge there. Nothing there. Uh, no cave up here. There's a few caves down here, though. And I don't think that there's one down here now. Yeah, there's none there. So there's only two caves here. I think one is probably a shop and one is probably the way up in the Dark World. Unless there's... I'm so confused, there's three paths here. That's the way the, the, Ah! Okay, this is the way to go. Also, that, that path I just took doesn't get to where we need to go at the moment. Just because it's blocked off by blocks. As crazy as that sounds. This is the shop. Fairly basic. And now let's go through here. I'm tempted to push one of those blocks just to make sure I can... You like push the other one from the other side, but I don't think that's going to work like that. Also, I don't need it, so I'm just going to go through normally. Fall down here. Push that there. And then fall down through there. Which takes us to the other side of those blocks there. Also, yeah, those blocks don't stay the same. Okay, up again. Ow. Also, I like that our sword can actually take take those out in one hit now. Because back in the Tower of Hera, that took a few hits, so... Uh, but anyway, let's grab that treasure there. And this treasure here. Some bombs and some red, red rupee. Uh, I think that's everything in here. So now we can just get out of here. I like how we can see caves in, that aren't connected to this one. Uh, but anyway... We can also go down into this hole here. And there's quite a few things in here. So let's get started with this chest here. We can also get to this chest over here. 50 rupees. I don't think there's anything important here. It's also a bit of a hookshot maze. Kind of. That's the best way I have to describe it. Okay, I think... I think... I think I need to go back. Nope, don't fall off, please. Oh, that just resets us anyway. Cool, okay. There's not enough space to stand. Why do you do this game? This game is flawless. It's a pretty good game, but it, it, it's got a few things that can hit the wrong way, I guess. Uh, now, I believe there's a platform, invisible platform here. And I don't know the best way to see it. Other than maybe using ether? Okay, well, there it is. It's only visible for a few seconds though. Okay. Let's blow that up. There might be another way to make those visible to us. Uh, anyway, we can blow that up. I think that's the only thing we can blow up in here. No, there was actually a thing up here. I'm guessing that's a fairy fountain. Yeah, it's a fairy fountain. Cool. Does this open? It does. And more fairies, I'm guessing. Yep, more fairies. Everything is fairies. But anyway, this takes us up to this platform up here, which means if we go to the light world... Gives us the piece of heart that we didn't have before. So there we go. And we have just one more piece of heart to go. And then the last dungeon. But anyway, that is it for now. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.